it's almost hard to describe what living independently is because it's just ordinary people living ordinary lives, making ordinary choices that we all make on a day-to-day -day basis. It shows me that I can do anything. To come and go as you please, to go out in the world and explore it, not watch it through a window. Where we can be ourselves the most is at home. And a lot of people don't see the real us because real us comes out when we're at home. So that, to me, is independence. You're almost being regenerated back out into the community again. I see him breathe deeper and more comfortably and be at peace. When we ask people that we serve what their number one need is, it is affordable, accessible housing. The best way that I can get someone to understand the importance of independent living is asking them, do you have a door of your own to close? Do you have a door? Everybody wants a door. Everybody wants the ability to say, this is where I live. You can't come in unless I tell you that you can come in. That's what independence is. And that's what Inglis and Inglis House Incorporation provide. We believe that people should have choices and options, and that many people, particularly younger folks, with the advances in medical technology that help people live more independently, they should have the opportunity to do so. Helping people with disabilities live as independently as possible has been at the top of Inglis's priorities for decades. It started its first accessible housing complex in the 70s before anyone else was doing it. And it's a priority today because being able to live as independently as possible is something that everybody wants. Oh, I had goosebumps, butterflies. When I got my keys, I was like trying to hold it all together, but I couldn't. I couldn't stop smiling. I'm still smiling. <laughs> <laughs> Opening the door, knowing that you can go out and do anything, just opens a world of opportunities for you. I come in in the morning, honey, I'm home. He's like, hey, darling. You know, we turn Alexa on, he might play music. It's like a zen atmosphere when you come in. People who have transitioned out of other nursing homes, they don't have life where they are and they see life outside their windows, but they can't get to it. And then they hear about Inglis, and they say Inglis builds housing that allows you to be a part of life. They want you to be a part of life. They see a whole new spectrum, and they have hope. When I first sustained my own disability, I was living at a house that was about as far from accessible as you could get. I moved to my own accessible apartment. I was suddenly far more independent, not because my disability had changed, but because I was in an environment where I could be independent. Well, I'm going out every day and just exploring Philadelphia and spreading my wings and I love to paint, draw, cook with my sister and I just like doing like the daily activities that anybody else would do. I don't think people understand the joy we all feel that Walter has his own place and his own life now to lead. Feels great. It's my apartment. It's my space. It's nice to be able to get your own personal time, be able to pick out what you want for dinner, to relax, take a nap, watch TV. I can bring him tomatoes from my garden, spaghetti sauce I brought him today. I can share my talents and my gifts with him. Well, right now I'm, I'm trying to reassess what my new short-term and long-term goals are. I do see employment in the future. I also would like to volunteer a little bit more extensively, kind of spread out in my talents uh, so that I can uh, give back to the disabled community. It takes so many different partnerships to make one of our housing developments happen. It's about funders and donors and local government and all of the people who are in a community to understand what we're trying to do and to be part of that process. And it is critical then that we are partnering with all aspects of the community that we're going into and then to be successful long term. 
At Inglis, we don't do research, we don't do science, we don't work on curing people of disabilities. But what we do is remove barriers. We make sure that people are in an environment where they can live as independently as possible. When they get there, and we tell them, welcome home, that look, that relief of I've managed to come back to life. And it's like, I can do anything. That's what English does with these units. And they're in the stream with everybody else. And it's a wonderful thing. And I've wiped off all your makeup, I'm so sorry. <laughs>